سعی میکنم همه زندگی رو بفروشم از این مملکت برم من که از فردا هیچ خبری ندارم Arash is one of the many Iranians I spoke with on Telegram to see how they're dealing with U.S. sanctions. He says he's having trouble buying the bare essentials his family needs. پوشک این بچه رو من روز اول می خریدم مثلا هفتاد هزار تومن و الان دارم می خرم صد و پنجا هزار تومن هر بسته شد. The U.S. was the only country to leave the multilateral nuclear deal and quickly moved to put pressure on Iran. We will be instituting the highest level of economic sanction. Economic pressure is nothing new for Iranians, but many say this is the most hopeless they've ever felt. Many Iranians I spoke with seemed exhausted by this back and forth with the West and frustrated by the gridlock. ما پیروز شیم در مقابل آمریکا تو این چالشی که باش هستیم به شکست بخوریم این هیچ اهمیتی نداره موضوع اصلی اینه که تموم شه یه جا برای اینکه این بحرانه رو زندگی همه ما ها تاثیر گذاشته در واقع اتفاقی که میفته فشار اصلی در چا... در تحریم ها همیشه به مردم عادی میاد در واقع ماهاییم که این بحثات متضرر میشیم one person was against the Iranian government altogether and saw Trump's exit from the nuclear deal as a blessing خب جمهوری اسلامی یک حکومت فاسده که پول های نفت ایران رو صرف مردم ایران نمیکنه و برای اموری که از مردم ایران اصلا نظر خواهی نکرده و خارج از کشور و برای اموری که واقعا بشر دوستانه نیستند داره خرج میکنه and it could get worse The U.S. imposed a second round of sanctions on Iran on November 5th. This round is focused on stopping the sales of Iranian oil and petrochemical products. It could be a big hit to Iran's economy because oil generated $50 billion in revenue last year. Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif isn't backing down despite sanctions and tough talk from the U.S. We have in fact survived in spite of the U.S. pressure for 40 years. If they try to put pressure on Iran, If they try to threaten Iran, Iranians respond very negatively to pressure and threats, and it will further uh, strengthen the resolve of the Iranian people to resist. International companies started to cut ties with Iran after Trump left the nuclear agreement in May. In the face of U.S. sanctions, many companies got cold feet and got out of the Iranian market. But some countries, like India, China, and Turkey, say they are committed to buying Iranian oil, despite the threat of U.S. sanctions. And Zarif says the U.S. posturing impacts how Iranians want to interact with the West. Well, the Iranians have lost some hope in uh, engagement, but uh, the international community has failed. So that has long-term consequences uh, for Iran's foreign policy behavior. For now, both countries are steadfast in their positions, and people are continuing to be caught in the middle.